Hi everyone, welcome back to Dave's Math Channel. I'm your host David Tear, and I haven't made a math video here in a few days, but I decided to start a new series. Uh, this one's called How to Be a Human Calculator. And I'm a little bit of a human calculator, I guess. I've always been a math prodigy. And I guess one of my skills in math, you know, besides having a PhD in math, uh, you know, knowing a lot of, a lot of um, you know, advanced math. I also, when I was a kid, I was kind of a math prodigy. I could uh, do pretty amazing calculations in my head. Uh, I think part of the reason I could do that was because I'm on the spectrum. I have Asperger's syndrome and... People on the spectrum have heightened attention to detail. You know, we're good at memorizing things. And uh, I guess part of the reason I'm good at doing ma mental math calculations is because I can see all the steps in my head. But there's, you know, if you want to do, if you want to be able to do some amazing mathematical calculations in your head, that's part of it. But part of it, too, is you just have to kind of know the right tricks to use. And I actually learned a really clever trick Years ago, I don't remember exactly when I learned this, probably when I was like maybe 12 years old, I learned how to multiply two two-digit numbers in my head very fast. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. Uh, and you really don't have to know all that much math to be able to do it. The hard part is, you know, doing all the mental calculations, keeping all the steps in your head. Uh, yeah, actually, I think the hardest thing is, uh, well, the, the key here is this formula, which I'm sure you guys all learned in high school. Um, a squared minus B squared is A minus B times A plus B. You can write it the other way around if you like A plus B times A minus B. It doesn't really matter because multiplication is commutative. Um, but I'm sure you guys have seen this formula. It's pretty easy to derive. I mean, you can derive it just using FOIL. You get the outer and inner terms canceling, and you're just left with A squared minus b squared for the first and last terms. I'm sure you guys all know this. Um, anyway, how can we use that uh, to multiply two-digit uh, two numbers? Well, um, uh, the first step, this is probably the hardest step you'd have to learn to do this. You know, And I did this when I was about 10 years old, believe it or not. I'm not even sure why I did it at the time. I didn't see any real use for it, but... I did, when I was about 10 years old, I managed to memorize the squares of all the numbers up to 100 in my head. Uh, for instance, 73 squared is uh, 5,329. Uh, 34 squared is 1,156. You know, I mean, I guess that's pretty uh, commendable in of itself that I can do that. But if you want to do this, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work. So, you know, you have to memorize 100 numbers, 100 numbers of up to four digits. That's not an easy thing to do at all. It's probably hard enough for you to learn the multiplication table in fourth grade. Now most kids don't even know it anymore. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, aside from that, uh, suppose you did want to memorize the squares of all the numbers up to 100. How would you do it? Well, the way I did it was I learned, I learned each number one step at a time. And it's not very hard to get from one square to the next square. So for instance, we all know that 10 squared is 100. What about 11 squared? Well, the trick is use the another, another algebraic identity. Uh, n plus 1 quantity squared equals n squared plus 2n plus 1. I'm sure you guys all learned this in uh, high school as well. Um, so if you wanted 11 squared, you just add uh, 21. That's uh, 2 times 10 plus 1 to 10 squared. That gives you 121. Or a more complicated example, which I give here, suppose you want to do 21 squared. Well, I think 20 squared is easy. That's just 400. And then you just add uh, 2 times 20 plus 1, that's 41, to 400. You got 441. That's 21 squared. And you can keep doing this one step at a time, which is what I did. So if I wanted to know 22 squared, I just took 21 squared. This time I added... 43, which is 2 times 21 plus 1. You're always adding the next odd number. So the next odd number after 41 is 43, if you want to think of it that way. So since we added 41 to get from 20 squared to 21 squared, we have to add 43 to get from 21 squared to 22 squared. Well, we just calculated 21 squared. That was 441. So now we're adding 43 to that. That gives you 441 plus 43, which is 484.
So you can keep going like that if you want. That's how you can do it one step at a time. And I did this. It took me about a year or two. I think by the time, uh, yeah, by the time I was about 10 years old, I could, I memorized all the squares of all the, all the integers up to 100. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, uh, you could even skip steps if you want. Suppose you forgot what 46 squared was. Well, you don't have to keep counting up, you know, 40 squared. Yeah, and you can use another identity. A plus B quantity squared equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. This is just a more general uh, identity than the one on top. Here, B, uh, you know, the one on top is a special case where B is 1. Um, but it doesn't have to be 1. So suppose you forgot what 46 squared was. Well, you know what 40 squared is, right? That's just 1,600. And you know, 6 squared is 36. So you can just use this identity. So uh, you let A equal 40, B equals 6. So you get 40 squared. Uh, that's 1,600 plus 2 times 40 times 6. You may want to do this one step at a time. 2 times 40 is 80. 80 times 6 is 480. So we add 480 to 1,600. That gives you, uh, what, 2,180. Um, and then, Oh, no. Two, wait. Did I do, you know, 1,600 plus 480, 2,080. Sorry, I make mistakes sometimes. I'm not perfect. And then uh, we have to add 6 squared, which is 36. That gives you 2,116. So that's how you can get 46 squared. You didn't have to go, you know, one step at a time up from 45 right. squared. Uh, you could just uh, skip steps like this. But anyway, you know, if you, if you do this enough time, eventually you'll memorize all the squares of all the numbers up to 100. It's not really any harder than memorizing the capitals of all the states or, uh, you know, memorizing all the, all the latest Pokemon characters, which I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know how to do. I don't know practically any of the Pokemon characters. I know Pikachu and Gengar, and that's about it. But anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, so um, once you have, once you know the squares of all the numbers up to 100, what do you do next? Well, now here's where we use the other identity I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video. Uh, a plus B times A minus B equals A squared minus B squared. Well, this is a very nice identity because uh, this will allow us to multiply any two two digit numbers up to 100 as long as they have the same parity. They have to either both be even or both be odd. Otherwise, this trick won't work. But let's just do a couple examples like that. So how would we do this? I mean, uh, the trick is that, you know, you're, you're trying to multiply two, um, two um, integers, uh, two two-digit numbers. We, let's call them M and N, where M is the larger one and N is the smaller one. If they're the same, we could, which is a square, and we've uh, memorized all the squares already anyway. So there's nothing to do in that case. But if they're different, let's let M be the larger number and N be the smaller number. And then we want to get A and B out of that. Well, we know that A plus B equals M and A minus B equals N. It's a very easy uh, algebra exercise to compute um, um, M and, um, and, no, M is A plus B and N is A minus B. So it's a very easy algebraic exercise to invert that, that, that uh, formula, you get A equals M plus N over 2, and it, B is M minus N over 2. I'm not going to prove this. You can do it yourself, I'm sure. Um, and uh, anyway, that's what we use. So the first thing you want to do, if you're given M and N, two numbers with the same parity, both even or two, both odd, we first compute A and B, and then we just use this identity. We just say M times N is A plus B times A minus B, which is a squared minus b squared. We've already memorized the squares of all the numbers after 100, so we're just taking the difference of two of them. So we, let, let me, let's do some examples. So the, here's, a, here's a pretty easy example, 48 times 32. Well, here we can just, uh, and another thing that that's, makes this easy, just remember that a is the average of these numbers. It's the sum divided by two. So the average of 48 and 32 is 40. You might not have to cap to get the sum and divide by two. You can just sort of do that in your head. Um, so A is 40 and uh, B is half the difference. So the difference here is 16. We're dividing that by two. That gives us eight. So A is 40 and B is eight. Those are easy numbers to work with. So, so 48 times 32 is gonna be 
uh, 40 squared minus 8 squared. Those are be both easy to calculate. Uh, 40 squared is 1,600. 8 squared is 64. So you take 1,600 minus 64, and that gives you uh, 1,536. That's the answer. I'm going to do a couple more examples because that was a pretty easy one. Here's an example where here's a couple examples where both numbers are odd. These are usually a little bit trickier. So here's a kind of an easy one where they're both odd. 35 times 17. Let's do that one. Well, once again, uh, we just uh, calculate A and B first. A is the average of those numbers, which is 26, and B is half the difference, which is 9. So uh, we have 26 squared minus 9 squared. And if you've memorized all the squares, you know that 26 squared is 676. And you also know that 9 squared is 81. So you take 676 minus 81. And that gives you 595. And that's your answer. Uh, as a third example, let's do 73 times 49. So uh, we do the same thing. Um, we calculate A. That's the average of 73 and 49, which is 61. And B is the half the difference, which in this case is 12. So we have A is 61 and B is 12. So the answer is going to be 61 squared minus 12 squared. And since we know all the squares, we know 61 squared is 3721. And we know 12 squared is 144. So when we take 3721 minus 144, you get 3577. I'm not saying it's easy to do these in your head. Another thing you kind of have to do is you have to be able to do addition and subtraction of multi-digit numbers in your head. That's kind of tricky. You have to keep track of all the places and you have to remember to borrow. You know, it's not that easy. But, uh, you know, I, I know how to do that as well. Maybe that's where some of my Asperger comes in. But anyway, uh, uh, but then the, the hardest case here is when uh, two numbers you're trying to multiply are opposite parity. One's even and one is odd. Doesn't matter which is which. But uh, what do we do in that case? Well, in that case, we have to kind of do two steps. So the first step is we, we subtract one from the second number, the smaller number. It doesn't really matter which one you subtract one from, but I like to subtract from the smaller number. So we're, remember, we're starting the product m times n, where m is a larger number, m is a smaller number. So what we do instead is we calculate m times n minus 1, because now m and n minus 1 will have the same parity. They'll either both be even or will both be odd. So we know how to do that. So first we do m times n minus 1, which uh, you know is just m times n minus m, using the distributive property. Uh, but now we have to add back m. So the second step is to add the larger number. That's all you have to do. So let's do that. Let's do an example, 49 times 32. So uh, we can't use the trick we use because uh, they're opposite parity, but we could do 49 times 31. We've just subtracted 1 from 32, so let's do that one. That's a pretty easy one. So the average of 49 and 31 is 40. That's A. The, the Half the difference is 9. So we have 40 plus 9 times 40 minus 9. So that's going to be 40 squared minus 9 squared. 40 squared is 1,600. 9 squared is 81. These are pretty easy. You didn't really have to memorize all the squares up to 100 to do this one. Uh, that gives you uh, 1519. But we're not done. That's 49 times 31. We want 49 times 32. Well, there's only one more step. We just have to add 49. Because we know that 49 times 32 is just 49 times 31 plus 49, or if you like 49 times 1. So we take 1519, which was the previous result we calculated. We add 49 to that, and we get 1568. And that's the answer. So that's how you can learn to be a human calculator. And I'm pretty sure if you guys really wanted to do this, you probably could. I think in about two years, if, if you guys wanted to impress your friends, I don't know why you'd want to do this. Never worked that well for me. I was kind of a circus act in school. I don't want to get into that, but 
didn't help me get laid. I mean, <laughs> you know, it was, it was kind of a good trick. It's a good trick that I know how to do this, but it didn't help me in ways I wanted to be helped so much. Maybe it will in the future. Maybe you guys will watch this video because you'll be entertained that I can do this and I'm teaching you how to do this. So maybe, maybe this is where it's going to pay off for me now. But, but anyway, that's how you multiply two two digit numbers in your head. Um, thank you for watching this video. Long live math and I'll see you guys next time.